Hey everybody, welcome back to the Armory today. Oh, it's a beautiful day in Colorado. And I think it's approaching 50 degrees today. And what I'm working on today is my Mosin Nagant test rifle. And like I discussed in uh, the other videos, uh, this is to test ammunition and barrel lengths and stuff like that. And what I'm basically trying to do is determine is the Mosin actually a garbage rod or is it actually a pretty good rifle. Uh, I don't think it's a secret. I think it's a pretty good rifle. Not the best. There's plenty of others out there that are better than the Mosin, but I think it actually does hold its own in the world of rifles. So, here this is. And what I'm doing today is basically uh, fitting the action to the new Boyd stock. And just a cautionary tale to people who want to fit uh, an action to an aftermarket stock. I love Boyd stocks. They are really nice. They come out beautifully. I've got many of them. Uh, but this one actually did require uh, a fair amount of um, fitting, which was a little bit surprising. Uh, one thing, the magwell was actually too narrow for this uh, magwell. This one, I mean, the Russians are not terribly known for making things uh, consistent and um, repeatable, if you will. So this magwell may actually be just wider than most out there. So that is a possibility, but I did have to open up the front of this uh, for this magwell. And then the lug uh, under here was actually a little bit cut a little bit too short but again maybe the lug is wider on this one um it, it was uh crude manufacturing in the soviet union so um the rest of it uh seems to fit really nicely uh i did run sandpaper and uh, a round block down the barrel channel and the barrel channel is completely free floated, so no part of the stock actually touches the barrel. And I think uh, after a couple hours of work, I think we've got it uh, good enough to start bedding. So I've shown this in a couple of other videos. Um, epoxy bedding, uh, Devcon 10110, uh, really good. Um, epoxy for bedding the action and basically we're just gonna fill up any gaps like in the the log well uh, at the back under the tang it basically just fills up any gaps and keeps the action um, solidly uh, stable to the stock so there's no no movement of the action when the rifles fired which can cause uh, accuracy issues so here we are um, I got a little bit of work done getting the action fitted, so now we're going to take this apart and we're going to um, uh, use the epoxy and get this thing bedded. So I'm going to take it apart, get all that stuff ready, and we'll go to town. I'll see you back in a bit. Okay, so like I spoke before, I don't know if you can see it very well, but yeah, I had to open up this end of the uh, uh, little well for the lug uh, just a little bit. And I also opened up this rear uh, screw hole just a little bit. Um, but with those two things and opening up this channel just a little bit with some sandpaper, uh, everything worked out great. So, also... The, the barrel channel and everything's good so let's get uh, uh, the epoxy going now the most important part of the epoxy job is going to be this lug well right here uh, you want the lug to be as supported as possible um, and really you want um, no movement whatsoever so it's a square lug uh, if we get a nice epoxy job in here, it should stabilize the vast majority of it. And uh, back here, um, 
right in this rear tang area if there's any um, available gaps or anything is a good idea as well. So first off, we're going to do this. A um, couple of basic ways to get this done. Um, first off, always have your release agent. You want a lot of release agent. The epoxy is very sticky. It sticks to everything and it'll stick everything to everything. So the release agent uh, is fantastic. It works great. Um, it is absolutely a necessity. And put three or four coats on because it, you know, there really isn't too much to go on. And you want to get the screws covered in the release agent. You want everything in release agent that could possibly touch the epoxy except the stock. So we're going to do the action, the receiver, um, everything with the release agent. And then we'll fill this cavity right here. Now a neat little trick that I've picked up along the way is to take a little bit of your modeling clay and put it around the bolt and then pre-fit the bolt into the hole. Um, with release agent and then fill the pocket with epoxy and then set it down that way the epoxy doesn't just start pouring out of the hole and make a bigger mess and everything like that so a little bit of modeler's clay stick the screw into place and hold it there um, and then we'll drop the action um, with the epoxy in there and it'll kind of plug up the the screw hole so that everything doesn't run out the bottom so hope you understood that so we're going to get to mixing some of the epoxy and we're going to get this thing uh, set up and cure overnight the epoxy is a little bit on the slow acting side so uh, best bet is to just set it up and walk away and come back tomorrow and see how it did so um, with plenty of release agent, you shouldn't have to worry about getting it all apart. Uh, let's get to it. So the first step with the epoxy is you want to make a little dam. Uh, for this one, we're going to fill up this pocket. When the action sits down, it's going to push epoxy out from there. I do not want epoxy coming back in contact with the magwell. Uh, going forward, there shouldn't be a problem uh, with epoxy going forward. And likewise, we're going to put some masking tape on the sides in case it pushes out the sides. Uh, we don't have it messing up the stock. So we're just going to put a little bit of clay right here. And when the action sits down, it's going to make contact with the clay um, and make kind of a, a little dam for the epoxy to be pushed forward instead of forward and backwards into our magwell. All right, let's get to it. All right, here we've got the action. It's all zinked up with release agent. And this is pretty much how you want it to look. Nice, even white color with this release agent, at least. Um, so make sure you get all the little nooks and crannies all around the lug, everywhere the epoxy could touch. So we're good here. Now let's get to the stock. All right, like I said, just a little bit of modeling clay under the head of the screw will help hold the screw in place, and it fills the hole. So, All right, we're ready for epoxy. Let's get it mixed up. All right, here we got a little bit of epoxy mixed up. Let's get this uh, into the lug pocket, and then we'll get everything tightened down and see how we did.
All right. Action is bolted down nice and tight. And we don't have any squeeze out. So I think we did pretty good. Basically, you don't want to have too much squeeze out, but a little bit is okay from time to time. And that's a good thing because I forgot to put masking tape on the stock. So we're just going to call that a benefit. So there it is. We'll check and see how it is uh, tomorrow. We'll go ahead and take this all apart and see how the epoxy set up. And everything should be fantastic. So... I'll see you tomorrow on this.